In his Sunday Angelus, Pope Francis reflected on the Gospel's parable on the barren fig tree. He said, although God is merciful and patient, one must not delay their conversion to him. La possibilità della conversione non è illimitata, perciò è necessario coglierla subito, altrimenti essa sarebbe perduta per sempre. No, no, io aspetterò la prossima quaresima. Ma sarai vivo la prossima quaresima? Pensare a ognuno di noi oggi cosa devo fare davanti a questa misericordia di Dio che mi aspetta e che sempre perdona. The Pope added one must not justify their spiritual sloth, but increase their commitment to respond to God's mercy with a sincere heart. After the Angelus, Pope Francis called for a peaceful solution to Nicaragua's social political crisis. He also asked for prayers for the victims of violence committed in Nigeria and Mali. Preghiamo per le numerose vittime degli ultimi attentati disumani avvenuti in Nigeria e in Mali. Il Signore accolga queste vittime, guarisca i feriti, consoli i familiari e converta i cuori crudeli. Preghiamo. Ave o Maria, piena di grazia, il Signore è con te. Tu sei benedetta fra le donne. On Saturday, around 134 Fulani herders were killed by gunmen in central Mali, and there have been reports of more killings of Fulani tribes in Nigeria since February, where many have now left. The Pope also recalled the recent beatification of Mariano Mujerat. He said this Spaniard is a model for Christians, especially those who find it hard to forgive. Padre de familia, medico, giovane, 37 anni, e si prese cura delle sofferenze fisiche e morali dei fratelli, testimoniando con la vita e con il martirio il primato della carità e il primato del perdono. The Pope reminded pilgrims present that on March 24th it was the day in memory of missionary martyrs. He said that this year 40 missionaries have been killed, which is almost twice as many as last year. The Pope stressed the need for people to remember those being killed and persecuted because of their Christian faith.